So for five minutes, I'm sitting and I'm like completely breathing very, very deep because the vibration is almost too strong and it's burning all my chest. I have my bucket in my, uh, in, 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 in my hands. And anyway, I'm very, the, the silence of the jungle and the, all the jungle at the same time, this silence and this sound at the same time, we're like in full silence, but you still have like the jungle breathing, basically. After five minutes, I cannot hold it anymore. It's, uh, I become like completely drunk with that energy and I'm vomiting. And the moment I'm vomiting, I'm entering into another dimension. Mm. And I hear a voice telling me, there are walls in which your mind cannot go. Mm. Silence. And then I feel like, poof, like, si uh, kind of, my mind is just shut down completely. And I enter into another frequency. And the entire room disappears in front of me. There's no more room, but there's just this giant, giant, giant tree, like in the movie Avatar. There's mm. like a giant, huge tree in the middle uh, of the room. There's no more room, but <laughs> then it becomes like this giant tree. And I'm looking at the tree and all around the trees, a lot of colors start appearing. And I see hundreds of spirit flying flying and, 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 and flying towards me with birds, colors, birds of paradise, different kinds of birds. And they start entering into my body. So my body is no more physical, but I feel my physical body still. And I see those spirit going through my mind, through my body. And I'm very, very scared because I'm still very aware and very conscious. And it feels, and I'm trembling and very trembling and, and I see all these walls and all this tree. And this tree presents himself as the Mother Earth, as the Gaia, telepathically. Mm -hmm. And it's explained to me that I'm on a mission and that I'm here to heal first. So then I can go and heal my universe and, and, and spread huge messages, uh, huge messages of what, with my voice. I didn't understand at that time because I was not chanting yet. And uh, I understood after that everything comes through the Icaros. So I was in this world and I was like very, very scared. And, and at one point, the energy shifted and I entered into another dimension. Again, the world disappeared. And then I was back into this room, but this room was full of ornaments. And there was everywhere like huge shamanic ornaments, skulls of animals and different kinds of uh, um, uh, gold and diamond kind of environment. Very, very beautiful. And everyone was sitting on the throne. Everyone was sitting on the throne. And especially the shamans, they had like higher throne and they were sitting on it. I was... That shifted again, and it was so strong. And I enter into another realm, and I was in India. I don't know what I was doing over there, but I, I was in India, again into that scene, a new scene. And that new scene, there was like those beautiful ladies dancing and looking at me. And from nowhere, this blue baby <laughs> playing flute. <laughs> Krishna. Uh, uh, Krishna appeared in front of me and it was as real as I see you like this and, and, and it felt and they were showing me some mystery of the universe through the sound some deep understanding about the healing the sound and the universal cosmic music hmm. uh, that was a, a powerful Ikaro by itself a healing song who just could fix anything like a, I would say like a, it would like the ultimate song, sound, something that would resonate within the body and just heal everything. There's many different kinds of mysteries like this. And then from that last matrix, I was exhausted. I was like, my God, I just spent, I don't know, three, four hours into the realms of this medicine. That was my feeling. But at the moment I had this thought, 
I heard the chant starting, and that was the first chant of the ceremony. I had, I had actually been gone for three, four hours. That was actually only 20 minutes. And then the shaman started chanting. And I had all my experience without the chant itself. I went straight into the realms. And then I understand the power of the chant and it took me to another realm. But that was one of the strongest experience I had. Um, becoming uh, present with the physical body in other realms of existence, with other dimensions um, that I explored at that time. I had, uh, I, I had many, many mystic experience, but this is one of the, the one that I can, I can just uh, share with you now. Wow, that's mind blowing. <laughs> when you tell that, I can imagine and I can feel it. Uh, because I've been there. <laughs> if you never try ayahuasca, you cannot understand what Benjamin saying. <laughs> Yeah. 